Dexterflex provides real-time metrics for your entire call center. If you are an agent, you may only see the queues that you are a member of, but as a supervisor, you have the ability to see the status of the entire call center, as well as drill down on any particular customer service group in the call center. You've got the occupancy rate, abandoned status, service levels. Um, your abandoned average time will show up here. Uh, this is set for real time, but if you like, uh, you'd like to see uh, this traffic compared to yesterday at this time, you can set that here. You will see time across uh, the bottom of the display from let's say 12 a.m. to the current time. And this enables you to see your traffic uh, as it goes through the business day. So you'll see a histogram here of your call activity. You can set this to look at contacts, which will uh, show you abandoned, inbound, and outbound calls, again, across the timeline. So here we're at 9 a.m., 10 a.m. As the day goes on, these will move to the left, and we'll be looking at new hourly histograms. We can do that for uh, service levels and abandoned calls and also durations. Two other screens of uh, interest are agent performance, which will bring up a list of your agents and their current uh, statistics with respect to the status they're in, um, how many calls they've handled, average hold times, handling times, and the usual uh, metrics that a call center management requires. We can do the same thing with queue performance. So as we look at queue performance, we see our queues listed here. This call center actually has quite a few queues. And we can see the status of those queues and the statistics or key metrics for each of the attributes recorded in those uh, customer service groups. The information contained here is also archived and is uh, reportable. Well, we'll talk about that a little bit later on. Uh, you also have the ability here to create announcements. So it's very possible to uh, say, you know, we're going to have a, a team meeting and uh, I can select all queues or just a particular uh, queue and go ahead and create a message. Had that and declare it to either be info or an emergency. And then I can declare how I want it presented. It could be a screen pop, which will pop up here as like a little toast, a marquee scroller, or an active call alert. Marquee scroller will enable these messages to scroll across the top of the display. So you're able to push uh, notifications out to your agents on a queue by queue basis and have them be flagged as either informational or emergency. Very useful feature. Uh, other than that, all of the information is readily available either here as real-time information or can be pulled out through the activity search or the historical reporting engine.